Governor Okoa, who was represented by the State Commissioner for Water Resources, Honorable Samuel Marere, encouraged Christians to participate actively in politics by voting to elect the right candidates that will be able to tackle the various issues confronting the nation. He said the present situation in the country needed matured, knowledgeable, and credible leaders who should have solutions to them. The governor identified restructuring and devolution of power as the keys to resolving the major challenges faced in the country, adding that there was need for a constitutional review to change the structures of Nigeria. Governor Okowa asked Christians not to allow emotions and sentiments rule their sense of judgment in choosing and voting for credible political leaders. I want to urge us that at this season, let us not allow sentiment to rule us. Let us not allow emotions to rule us. Let us allow our senses to lead us. Let us pray very fervently and allow the Holy Spirit to guide us. The state chairman of the Christian Association of Nigeria, Senior Apostle Sivanus Okorote, who spoke on this year's team, State of the Nation, a call for political correctness, said the church can no longer sit back and watch corrupt politicians who do not mean well for nation being voted by believers of the gospel. Apostle Okorote noted that the search for political correctness in 2023 cannot be overemphasized with the present state of the nation and called on Christians to vote wisely. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because of lack of knowledge, we we'll destroy ourselves in times of politics. We we'll destroy ourselves by giving power to those who shouldn't hold power. So we believe that now is the time to ensure that believers are properly educated and guided one to ensure that we have a free, fair, credible, and peaceable election. Various speakers, including the car chairman, Kaduna State Chapter, Dr. John Joseph Hayab, the state chairman, PFN, Bishop Kisley Nakiriri, Khan former state chairman, Reverend Gideo Oibo, and the INEC Residential Electoral Commissioner, Dead State, Mr. Monde Udo Tom, stressed the need for Christians to be actively involved in electoral process as the 2023 general elections draw near. This meeting is to create an awareness that we must push forward to collect their PVC in order to vote in 2023 is to educate the Christian on their participation in politics. It may not be partisan politics, but just creating awareness for them to know their right from their left in terms of participating in the voting and encouraging our church members to do the same. If balance is wrong, then let's just ask the people from the South South to give us a president and a vice president, no need. Why do we balance? Because we want acceptability, we want recognition, we want togetherness, we want the leader to have loyalty of all parts of Nigeria. So, and religion is very sensitive to Nigeria. So we are saying those who deliberately feel that balancing do not mean anything, for us as a church, it means something. For his part, Reverend Father Christopher Ekabo, the chairman of Camp Political Strategy and Mobilization Committee and the state vice chairman of Khan, very Reverend Father Jesuvi Ugagawodia, described the seminar as one of the major activities of the state chapter of the Christian Association of Nigeria towards sensitizing the Christian in the state on the state of the nation. CF team is titled The State of the Nation, a call for political correctness. It's a thought-provoking topic that will open our minds to issues of governance in our nation and what we can do as a family of Christ faithfully to correct its limitations. I want to mention that Christians are well enlightened, giving appropriate information that will help them to make the right informed decision as a vote. The one-day seminar featured intercessory prayers and lectures on the power of the PVC, the gospel minister role in ensuring political correctness, the sanctity of the church in the political environment, as well as the psychology of campaign promises and manifestos in Nigeria.